when he wants to go down there on a first date. First date. Down, down way. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome um, back to the Cyber Steve. How you guys doing? I hope you're doing good. Show. So today, as you came from the title, we're going to be uh, doing a uh, asking a girl question that guys are too afraid to ask. So today's video is all about you guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on your post notification, so you're not going to miss out any of these beautiful videos that we put out there. Right, guys? Part two. Yay. I was on the spot first. Now we're putting everyone on the spot. Yes. So yeah, that's what today's video is all about. Let's get started. All right, let's get it rolling, you guys. All right, today is asking a girl questions that guys are too afraid to ask. What? What are we afraid of? We're gonna find out the answers today, right? Yeah. All right, so let's get it rolling. First one, most in-depth one, are, is that time of month really bad our periods bad it's that time of month as it rolls around is it a bad thing um yeah you guys periods are you know the okay i'm just well i'm speaking for all women if you you know think that i'm not talking uh how you're gonna talk or answering how you're gonna answer it make sure to you know answer the same question at the comment section because we love to read uh, you know comments as well and other people are gonna read it so yeah um our periods are uh that bad yes it is especially if you're having cramps and you know the pain and all that is so unbearable so yeah i know that you know there are a lot of you guys uh, ladies out there who can relate to that you know it's very bad so yeah it's uh it's that bad you know you become moody and all that you know uh so yeah the moodiness uh you don't feel comfortable you know you feel like uh there's something going on down there and stuff like that so it's not something that is really comfortable you guys i know you know what i'm talking about so, i don't need to explain any feather <laughs> do girls like nice guys do girls like nice guys yes every girl like a nice guy if you're a guy and then you're nice you know you're nice as in if you treat women good if you are you know nice as in you you always make sure your woman doesn't lack a, guy, a, a woman is gonna uh, love you you know so that's how it is uh, if you're a guy and you're stingy I don't think any woman is gonna be interested you ladies, I know you know what I'm talking about. Leave a comment down below. Do you like uh, nice guys or not? Nice guys, I mean, I think every every woman is gonna like them. So far as you know, they are caring and all that. You know, they are always there for you. Uh, they talk to you, you know, and stuff like that. A lot of communication going on. That's, that describes the night, I mean, a guy being nice. It's not just the looks, it's, it, it entails, of, it entails uh, everything, okay? Not just uh, the appearance. How the guy is gonna treat a lady that shows how nice that guy is you know so if you don't treat women good then you're not a nice guy and ladies are not gonna like you yes why do girls wear makeup why do girls wear makeup all right for me i wear makeup i don't really wear a dumb a lot of makeup okay if, as you can see i mean not a lot of videos i i wear makeup just to just to be pretty I know I'm, I'm pretty I know like you know we are pretty as women but if you do a little bit of makeup uh, too well let's say you're stepping on all that you can't just go like that roll like that with nothing on you know it doesn't really look really good but if you a little bit of makeup and stuff like that brings your your face
face out it just brings your beauty out so i think that that's why women actually you know love for put on makeup what do you think guys <laughs> what do you think out there be sure to leave it a comment all right how do you feel when a guy asks you out for a date how do you feel when a guy asks you for a date mm -hmm. um uh, you know, uh, when a guy asks you for a date, you be thinking like, oh, uh, the guy actually want to know me, want to get to know me more, you know? Want to know what I'm about, know where I'm from, know a lot about me, you know? So that's what actually comes in your mind when you, you actually have a, you know, a guy that actually asks you for a date. All that comes in your mind is that the guy want to know you. For me, that's what I think, you know? So, yeah. What do you think of a guy when he wants to go down there on a first date when a guy wants to go down there on the first date down down where down there you guys <laughs> okay what do you think about a guy on a girl okay first of all if uh, on a face on a first date okay if uh, you know a guy asks you for a first date you wouldn't be thinking like the guy is gonna ask you, you know, for for him to go down and stuff like that. So when he say when he he says that, that is a turn off. For me, that's a big turn off, and I don't think I'll be then. Then you know, my interest in the date and everything is just gonna disappear. And I just say, you know what? I think this whole thing was wrong. You see? How can he say? I mean, you, I mean, how can he say that, you guys? You cannot go down there on the first date. That, that, that shows that a guy is not serious. Any serious guy wouldn't do that. Any guy who is serious and wanna, you know, stick around with you, uh, get married to you, have kids and stuff like that, wouldn't, you know, jump right away and say, okay, today is the first day, let's go, you know. That's a bit off. Anyways, that's my opinion. <laughs> Make sure you leave yours down below. Do girls like guys that show off, flex a lot, steal their money, cars, even count money in front of you. All right. Okay. So you know, uh, if you meet a guy for the f for the first time, not just the first time, you know. Let's say you you meet a guy and then he'll right away say that you know I have houses here. How about four mansions here? I have about twenty cars. I have fifty. Uh, you know. 50 whatever that he keep bragging and talking a lot about what he has and stuff like that that is a big tunnel you got a big big one what i mean what are you shitting for me that is a big tunnel for me because you cannot be telling me i have this i have that and it's not about it's not about what you have it's about you know getting to know the person and stuff like that i don't i don't for me if you're going into a relationship don't go for what that person has because you know anything can happen in the future maybe the person's gonna lose it that if the person loses everything then you know are you gonna say that because i came in for the money so you don't have it so i have to leave so yeah you know guys shouldn't do that don't don't be you know counting money in front of ladies oh you know what you i mean i mean how much do you want how much do you want i can give it to even you even right a guy now. with four mansions not attractive for me that's a turn off you cannot be telling me i have this i have that you know you should just let the lady find out uh you know herself or maybe you know you shouldn't go about, you know, say I have money, I have that, I have that. That's not the right thing to do, you guys. Anyways, that's mine. All right. Just down there, you guys. Do girls like to pleasure themselves as guys do? What does that mean? Uh, do you like to uh, play with yourself when you're alone? Um, no. For me, I don't do that. Why? Because I feel like, uh, you know, I'm married, I have Greg, so... I don't do that though. So I think that uh, well, there, there there might be other you know ladies out there that uh you know that do that just because maybe you're single and you know sometimes you're a human you're a human being and you know you feel like doing stuff like that you know. So I don't do that. So I cannot really go into details, you guys. What do what is a girl's biggest turnoff? A girl's biggest turnoff. All right. For me, well, I think that uh, not just for me. I think that any other girl's biggest turn off is gonna be a guy that uh, a guy that talks too much. 
or a guy that uh, a guy that talks too much in the sense that you know and say oh you know I'm gonna I'm gonna spoil you I'm gonna buy this for you I'm gonna do this for you I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that that's too much talking so that's that, that's actually a turn up and I think it's gonna be a turn up for any other any other you know lady uh, any other woman watching me because you know and then uh, the other turn up is for me it's a guy that doesn't smell good you know somebody will be standing in front of you and then they'll be like you know I'm gonna take care of you I'm gonna make sure you don't lack anything and stuff like that and then that person talking to you is just smell like nothing else that's that's the greatest turn up ever just saying you guys make sure you know you leave yours down below don't come for me <laughs> don't come for me you guys <clears throat> yay all right does the size of a man's you know what matter um uh, for me i'll say that uh it doesn't really matter so far as you know you can actually do the job as, as you ladies want it i don't think the size should be an issue but uh, unless maybe you know, it's not that uh, it cannot. Uh, it's not that strong. <laughs> you guys, please don't come for me. <laughs> All right. But uh, I think the size shouldn't be an issue if you if you truly love the person. You know, you shouldn't you shouldn't be thinking about size and all that. But I know most ladies actually think about that, which uh, you guys can answer that. All right. <laughs> Why do girls like to do it? with the light turned off uh, because uh, you know I think that uh, I think I hate to put this out there but I think that is because most ladies are not it's insecurity I don't know if that's the, doesn't apply to us yeah we, we actually have the light on so you know, maybe most uh, ladies are not, you know, you know, maybe they are not right to have the light on, but you know, for some reasons. I mean, I think it's those that do that can answer it. For me, that's that's all I can say about this. <laughs> all right, last one. Why is it that girls care so much about their looks? Um, why do girls care so much about their looks? Because if you're a lady or if you're a woman, you need to be, uh, you know, always look good. You, you always have to make sure that you know everything is looking good. Your appearance, you know, what, whatever you're wearing, uh, you're smelling good and all that. So you're always thinking. You're always looking around and thinking, oh, you know, not that, not that like you want to look like somebody, but you just want to, you know, yeah, you just want to always be on top. I would be sharp, right? On top of your game. So that's 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 how that's all about it, you guys. All right. All right. So I think this is the last. That was the last question, you guys. All right. Thank you guys so much for you know staying through till the end. As always, we just want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Uh, our subscribers, our new ones, uh, old ones um, who have been with us for uh, till till this time. Uh, you guys are awesome, and we truly appreciate. It. Today's shout out goes to Linear ACW. Thank you yes. so much, Linear. <laughs> We truly appreciate you. You've always been there. You know, you're always making a comment here and there. Um, that's just how you're following us uh, on our channel. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you want to get a shout out at the end of our videos, make sure to keep on making good comments. Not that you know the nasty ones are not. We don't really care. <laughs> we won't. We'll call so, you yeah. out in a different way. <laughs> Thank you guys. We love you. See ya. Bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Cheers, guys.